So hey again, YouTube. I'm really sorry about the video quality on this one. For some reason, my webcam has become really grainy, and I don't know why. So um, I haven't really been able to figure out how to fix it, and I've only got two more vlogs that I'm going to make using it anyway, so I just figured I'd deal with it for the time being, if you guys will deal with it with me. Um, anyway, today is the 11th or something like that. Yeah, it's the 11th of May, which means tomorrow is my actual change day. I will be 21 weeks tomorrow, but I do not have time tomorrow to film this and edit it and deal with it. So, it's being dealt with today. Um, it's like 10 o'clock at night, so I figured it was close enough that I probably won't have anything new to talk about between now and tomorrow anyway. So, this week, I have been a very busy individual. Um, it was the last week of class. Okay, um, reading day happened and went. I had to work. I didn't really get a day off like everybody else did, but whatever. Um, Friday, I got my day off because I was like, nope. Um, so I spent the entire day packing my dorm room. As you can see, there's no wrong way. You, as you can see, there's still stuff. That's all trash that I've collected since I have been cleaning and packing and getting ready to leave. So, um, Friday I spent the entire day packing and studying and making sure my internet works at my trailer and everything like that. I got the internet turned on, unlimited data use, really great speeds. I tested it already. It's great for me and what I'm going to use it for, especially the no data caps because of YouTube. Um, I know YouTube doesn't use a lot if you don't watch long videos, but that's pretty much all I watch is at least 10, 15 minute videos a piece. So I needed unlimited data and I couldn't afford to get unlimited data through like a cable company so I had to go through this local company here and so far so good and um, like I said the speeds look great when I was testing it it th reaches my entire trailer so I can be pretty much anywhere that I want um, yeah so I'm excited about that and everything else was working great Saturday we inst we like my mom was here and we moved all of the big stuff out of my dorm we brought all of the big stuff from home and I have a pretty much fully, fully furnished trailer the second bedroom is still empty because that's where the nursery is going to be and I don't currently have any nursery furniture yet um, so there's nothing in there um, but it'll it'll come with time and I haven't actually taken any video footage of that yet because I don't have a memory card, but as soon as I come back, there will be a house tour of my humble abode, um, and the neighbor is a really great guy. He's supposed to cut my grass before I come back because I don't have a lawnmower, and they didn't cut the grass at all while they were trying to sell it for a month, and it's been raining a lot recently, and the grass is like halfway up my calf, so it really needs to be cut. Um, so he's gonna cut the grass while I'm gone, and he said he'd try to do it whenever I need, really, whenever it really needed to be done, but he may not be able to do it all the time. So that that's good. He's a really nice guy, um, and I'm glad I got lucky there. The other, the one on the other side is actually vacant. Nobody lives there, so that's good too. Um, there are these creepy people that like hang out there all the time, but they don't actually live there, so. As long as they don't give me any problems, I feel like it should be good. And I'm excited to have somewhere to live that is in my name and bills that are in my name because I never had that before. I have no credit established for me. So if I wanted to like get a car in my name, I would, it would be almost impossible because I don't have any credit. I have no credit history. So I could not get a new car even if I could afford to get a new car. And that makes me really sad. Um, so this this is like the starting point of my adult life and that's a really big thing um i'll be 20 in january so it's about time i get my adult life started i think 
some people started way before I did. Um, but yeah, I am really ready. I believe at least I'm really ready. Today I went to work. I had lunch with my mommy on Mother's Day, even though I was at work. Basically, I took my lunch break while she was here before she left to go home because she has to work tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. So we had finished basically all the moving. There's a few things still in my room, like things that I'm going to need or things I didn't have boxes for. So that stuff I'm going to pack tomorrow before I go into work. And then when I get off of work, I'm going to make sure it gets into my car. So that Tuesday when I finish my final exam, I can just take a couple of boxes out to the trailer and then the rest of it can go home with me because I am so ready to be home with my family, with the father of my child, with everyone. I am just so done with this semester. I'm ready for the summer classes because it's just a completely new thing and I'll be doing daily vlogs then and it'll be so exciting, but um, I have to get there and this week has been dragging and dragging and dragging on um, and yesterday was terrible in terms of the amount of time that I was up and active. I got up at 6.45 in the morning and I didn't get to bed till like midnight with no break. I had two exams, I had to move stuff all over the place. It was exhausting. Um, but anyway, today I just had to work, so at least it was just that. Um, and let's see, other than that, there haven't really been any symptoms this week per se, except sleep has still been terrible. I have had many days where I could not get to sleep for the life of me. Um, and I've just like cut on my TV with the volume like super low so you can barely hear it. So it's just kind of like noise and light differentiation. And it actually so for some reason has always helped me sleep. I don't know why. But it just, it has. The only problem now is my mom has my TV. Well, had my TV. And it's now in my car. So it's not in here anymore. Which means if I have trouble going to sleep, I don't know what I'm going to do to help myself. Um, I may just have to deal with silence and steadiness. I don't know. My room is getting kind of miserable now because it's hot outside and we don't have a fan and there's no air circulation. Like, it's not hot in here per se, but it's definitely not as comfortable a temperature as it has been in the past. Um, so, yeah. And today I had to rebunk the beds. I had my friend come help me. And we got it bunked pretty easily because of the way they were already set up. Um, but it's just weird because now I'm right in front of the window. So people are like staring at my legs while I'm asleep. But whatever. Um, I was going to say something else. Okay. Um, other than that, in terms of symptoms, I think the only thing will be like the stretching pains. Um, and a little bit of leg pain. It's like my legs get really tired really easily. And since I walk when I'm at work the whole time, pretty much, I'm just walking around. I My legs hurt when I get off. Like, it's just terrible. And especially with all the moving I did yesterday, my legs hurt really bad today. Um, but the stretching pains and leg pains and sleep is pretty much all that's been the like symptoms this week I've been able to eat pretty well still no big meals but I've gotten used to that and I don't really even want them anymore um so I have been eating like more times a day than I ha was previously so uh, that's good I have eaten a decent amount of fast food though this week because I've been craving it kind of just the greasiness of it I don't know I ate, a, I ate at McDonald's twice and Arby's once and I know it's not good for me but I mean it's what you want and it's there and I don't know you just sometimes you can't avoid it so that's what I've been eating and how I've been dealing with eating it's much better than it was and I really hope it stays this way because I like food I've said that so many times in so many of my blogs but I love it, and I just don't want to give it up. <laughs> um, so, 
of, I got a request in a comment on one of my older videos about showing how I put on my um, stretch mark cream and I will do that but not yet because this camera is terrible and you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway so that will be done for the person that asked me but it probably won't be for another week or so before I can do that anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you my bump and then this video will be done Okay, so this is with. Right, this shirt is so cute, isn't it? Okay, it's be afraid, be very afraid. But anyway, um, this from the front, as you can see, I have absolutely no belly button. None. This from the side. I'm quite round. I'm definitely very round, and it's mo a lot of the bulk of it is rising. It's like the top is like actually right there right now. So, I'm, I feel huge. I feel absolutely giant. I can still see my toes, so I know I'm not that big, but here's with the shirt down. So, I haven't gotten the stranger asking me what I'm due yet, but it can only be a matter of time, right? So, anyway, sorry for the terrible quality and the view down my shirt but anyway I'm gonna go and I will see you guys next week much love and bless me everybody